were in Santa Cecilia in Rome looking at the ruins of an extraordinary fresco by Cavallini from the late 13th century. We're above the entrance to the church and we're looking directly at a fresco that in the late 13th century people would have looked up at and it's a scene of the last judgment. Right, so this would have been on the wall opposite the altar and this would have been the last thing you saw as you were leaving the church. It's a monumental fresco. You see Christ in the center in a mandorla that is in a kind of divine emanation or halo that surrounds his entire body. He sits here as judge over the souls that have lived. And he exhibits for us very clearly the wounds of the crucifixion. We can see holes from the nails in his feet and his hands and the wounds in his side that's bleeding, a reminder of Christ's suffering and his return now as judge of mankind. He's framed by angels on either side, and beyond that we can see the apostles, six on each side. Between the apostles and Christ, though, are two other figures. You have Mary on Christ's right, and you have John the Baptist on Christ's left. And we're so clearly at just before the time of Giotto, in a way these pre 